What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mariah Perry, and I'm back again with another vlog. As y'all can see by the title, I am attending Revolt World 2023. Today is day one. It's Friday. It's currently 4:19 p.m., and we are headed to the site, the event site. But first, we gotta get some gas and possibly stop by the bank. We don't know if the parking situation needs cash or a card. We were going to possibly get an Uber, but we ended up driving, but we'll see what happens for the rest of the weekend. It's gonna take us 25 miles to get to where we're going. However, the GPS states that it's gonna take us 53 minutes to get there, so we're basically taking an hour ride to Revolt World. But last night, it only took us like, what, 15 minutes? But, yeah and i'm hoping that they let me bring you guys in there because i don't know if they're gonna say anything about my uh, wide angle lens hopefully they don't because this isn't really a dslr camera it's a vlogging camera so i'm just hoping however you guys make sure you hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and stay tuned for some Revolt World Weekend content. All right, y'all, because Revolt World has so much music playing in the background, I'm going to be popping in and out with some voiceovers. Right now, I'm showing you guys the Revolt World app. In this app, you're able to connect with other attendees of Revolt World, and you can also see what they have going on in the schedule and some other information that's important for Revolt World. Y'all, we got the parking pass. Revolt World Platinum, three days. Parking was limited, so shuttles would bring us from the overload parking lot to where the event was actually being hosted. It was literally like a five minute walk. It's not that far, but when your feet are hurting and it's hot, it makes the walk feel longer. So I really did like how they provided this service for us. Hola, como estas? Yo, Crown, ya, Revolve World. Got my sound in the background right here. The bus drivers were really nice. They played a lot of Diddy songs throughout the rides. Uh, as you can see, here we are arriving. Everything was on brand. You guys will see that throughout the video. I was just really excited to be here and taking advantage of the opportunity. We made it to Revolt World. We're about to walk inside. The arrival situation was pretty organized for the most part. Um, as y'all can see, they're directing traffic. We made it, guys, and my camera made it through. So we're Gucci. We are currently walking down this long road. We just came through the entrance. Get my steps in. I attended Revolt World with my brother and his friends. As y'all can see, we were walking down a very long hill on the right side on the other side of the orange cones there are golf carts bringing vip members from the very front entrance to the actual event which is where we're walking there's a lot of walking y'all so just be prepared vip does get a lot more access to different things um the very first thing that you guys see walking into revolt world is the world stage this is where the big things happen I'm basically just getting a feel for my surroundings right now, checking things out, getting a feel for the land and things like that. Everything was just really a vibe and I'm enjoying it so far. I think this space is where they used to shoot shows or movies before. They basically just took these buildings and rebranded it for Revolt World. I'm not really sure the name of the studios, but I thought it was really dope how they repurposed the space. We are walking with Cassius to the Shoot Your Shot booth. Um, he already registered. It's basically like a contest for upcoming artists to shoot their shots to executives in the industry. So that's where we are going. They got bars. What else do they have? Cajun seafood baskets, fresh lemonade. Listen, bring that camera right here. Uh, if you want to catch some, catch this. Once in a lifetime, this shit ain't gonna happen twice. On my mama. 
We're going dog oh nuts crazy. Oh We're going from Duval to Dade, Broward to Howard, and from Revolt World to Mayberry. Oh, in my virgin outfit. This cherry ain't been popped yet. What? I don't know what he was talking about, but shout out to him. We made it to the McDonald's booth so my brother can do his shoot your shot. While he was standing in line, I went to the merch booth so I can get some few things before everything sold out. Cassius is about to go in the booth to shoot his shot. We spent most of our Friday in the shoot your shot line. Upcoming artists had 60 seconds to showcase their talent to executives in the industry. I thought this was really cool how Revolt World teamed up with McDonald's to put this on for artists on the rise. Shout out to Revolt World and McDonald's for putting this on for artists on the rise. Once they did their 60 seconds, they did an interview and were able to take some pictures with the photographers and videographers. Immediately after we got some food, I ended up getting some fried Oreos and a lemonade my brother and his friend got a lemonade as well and they also ended up getting some chicken tenders and french fries after we got food we went to the world stage to see some performances we got to see uncle luke perform we also saw juvenile and manny fresh and of course we saw money bag yo y'all his speakers were thumping so loud i could feel it vibrating in my body it was so weird revolt world day one is complete i had a great time we are currently walking back to the car. My feet hurt. I just look forward to going home to make TikToks because I got some great content. So if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, make sure you guys do that. Getting ready to leave my aunt's house is day two. I got my fan and I also have my DSLR camera because once we leave Revolt World, we're going to Cash's concert. First stop is Office Depot. Cash has just walked inside so he can get the business cards that I designed, printed. He actually came yesterday um, and they were supposed to be ready yesterday, but they never sent him the confirmation email letting them know, letting him know that they were ready, but they're ready today. So he'll be able to pass out some business cards. Dang, that was fast. <laughs> Howdy. Can we see? Can we see? Nice. Dang, I wish they had the back. Dang, why they cut it like that? Whatever. The design is not supposed to look like this, guys. They have all that extra white space on the left side. But here it is. We made it. We came through the back entrance. I was kind of confused at first. I thought the shuttle brought us to the media or VIP entrance, but it's a different location. Y'all, the bus did drop us off at the wrong entrance and we got turned around like hotcakes. <laughs> so now we're waiting on the shuttle to come back so we can get back on that same bus so they can take us back to the parking lot and I don't know. I don't know if we're walking or getting on the school bus. We'll see. Y'all, Loki, I was annoyed because the shuttle driver dropped us off at the wrong entrance. And I asked her before we got off the shuttle if that was for general admission. And she told me yes. This caused me to miss She Got Game. So I did not get to see Flage or Shakari Richardson. Definitely annoyed. First thing I wanted to do was eat, so I filled my stomach up, and then we went to go see Jim Jones' drip report. What's up, everybody? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Came to give you a little bit of weather. I don't know me. Y'all can't see my foot tap. Let me see. In the 80s, they're going to be dropping down to about 76 over in Houston. They're going to be in the 90s. If you ever been to Houston, it's probably the hottest place in the world that I've ever been. We out here in Atlanta at Revolt World. We're the cast the guys. Making sure it happens in Carolina to Atlanta. And he about to shoot his shot. I'm getting that 10 at this point, we were just walking around seeing what they had going on throughout the day. We're currently in a love lounge right now, and here we are in the culture studio. Honestly, something that I want to see next year is more organization within Revolt World as a whole. A lot of the shows and different things were being moved around, so nothing was really on schedule, which caused us to miss different things. It was crazy. Right now, we're in line to see Jeezy. We were in line for like an hour. The show was supposed to start an hour ago. Look how long the line is, y'all. 
by the time we almost got to the door they cut the line off and told us that we weren't going to be able to go in because they began filming and they weren't taking anyone else inside all right y'all since there's no music playing i can get a little bit of content for y'all there goes the world stage it's sunday so we're here pretty early this is the retreat area and it just seems like real chill place to relax during the festival they have mirrors with some affirmations i'm cool like that i'm chill like that it's a little vibe a vibey vibe there goes the balloons in the water i wonder what they got going on over here Oh, so these are like headphones. We can get some chill music done. You have to breathe and prepare yourself. Anticipate the questions that you think you're going to get. Right? So those are the four things. And we're going to go into that last one. We've all been in interviews before. Or if you haven't. Around you, that's from the tape, from you, steal from you, creatively. Just anything. Family members, friends, attach themselves to you. And you don't even know who that people is. They just ready to just take from you. So ask God to hide in your discernment in this season. Ask God to move him, move you boldly. Give you the confidence to purge. We've been doing so many exits in our lives so much that we can't even get in the express lane with God because of so much distractions. So I just ask God to give you guys a spirit of boldness so you guys can walk into your greatness and heighten your discernment. There's a lot of people that is not like where you are. There's a lot of haters out here that want to see you down. But I encourage you guys to keep going and keep glowing and keep, keep God first. Telling y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. People don't like the way, people don't even like the way I'm, I'm, I'm moving in Christ. But when I have God, I, I can do all things. So just keep going. Keep, keep going. I don't know y'all, but I know there's a lot of broken people probably in this spaces that just want some knowledge and some comfort and they feel alone. So I'm telling you guys to keep, keep, keep going. Hello, yes, y'all give it up for Ross Snack, you guys. Other goals, right? And we're going to talk about the big goal of making our money work for us, but the basic is 50 30 20 rule. 50 30 20 rule, it's important to look at it on your after tax home month, after take home tax money, right? And 50% of that is going towards your necessities. I want you to think about that as your rent, your mortgage, your groceries. I want you to think about that as your insurance. What floor did Broadband live on? A Marion. Make some noise, Marion again. Oh, it's on me. It's on me. Vibes, big vibes. Um, so as someone who was signed to a major label, you know, fairly young, uh, but even... <laughs> Good I job, Rebo. I can't. Keep going, man. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Um, Lisa, so most people would describe being an independent artist as essentially being... All right, y'all, that's the end of this vlog. Although I didn't see a few things due to the schedule being messed up throughout the weekend, I still did take advantage of the opportunity and met some dope creative directors and some other creators, and I was able to network and exchange information. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave some comments down below. I have some more content coming very soon that I think you guys would be really interested in. I will be back at Revolt World 2024. Let me know in the comments below if you would attend this event. Like you could have took an opposite path. You could have saw somebody doing things that didn't necessarily serve them, serve you as far as like principle wise, but you saw them making.